time to say goodbye to my office. called the bassinet who cares um we got a mess baby slash helen r or helen k helen r helen, i don't know a baby o slash helen k yeah okay where is the crazy karen Nowhere to see her. Um, there's Helen K. Hi. What are you doing? Getting back to put all the little spare pieces so they don't get lost. Bam, 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 bam. I have a question. Why did you change your channel? Because it does look like crazy Karen's. Because I'm Helen Karen's. I'm not oh. crazy. Okay. Look at the door. Look at our new door. All right, so we are working on the nursery. My desk is gone. I got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, I don't know where my tripod is. I think it's in there, but I don't feel like looking for it. So, but let me show you what we're working on. So this is the Stoke crib. Um, I'm currently undoing all of the ties here. The lady I got this from, um, she did an awesome job, like securing all the pieces and tying it all together. Um, but this crib retails for about nine hundred dollars. Ask me if I would buy a nine hundred dollar crib. No, um, but she was selling it for two hundred. And I was looking online and I wasn't trying to get this specific crib. Like this wasn't like the one that I wanted and needed in my life. But I had seen it a few times in advertisements. And I'm like, man, that crib is nice. It'd be nice to have that crib. And I saw it listed on um, Craigslist and a bunch of different sites. And the cheapest I saw it for without the mattress was 250 and this lady sold it to me with the mattress, all the pieces, 200 bucks. So I said, I will pick it up. And I drove my behind to Edgewater and I picked it up. So we are trying to put it together. Um, I don't know, like I said, where my tripod is. 
I have no desire to record, but what kind of vlogger would I be if I didn't turn on the camera? A fraud vlogger. A oh, frogler. Frogger? Fraudler? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. I do not have the instructions on how to put this together. So we're just gonna look at all the pieces and I'm gonna get a YouTube video on and just follow what the person does. But I mean, it looks pretty simple to put together. Hi, co-host. Hey, Hello. Hello. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Okay, doki doke. Like get to the vibe. Yeah, sure. She does freehand sketches. She watches a video. She follows the yeah, video. This one of them. That. I do by myself. You want to show them another one? Yeah. Okay. And then I should do the one I did on the video. Okay. My little artist. Okay. This one was the one without the video. Can you see it on the screen? Yeah, that's good. This one is the other one. Looks very ugly. Look at it. Look how tiny it is. That one looks nice. She's got big flaring nostrils. It's like she's ready to blow a booger out of her nose. Not true. Do you like, you can comment which one you like better. Is this one? Or this one? Or the eye picture of this. Show me. And mommy, look, it has wheels. Co-host, I need your help. Co-host. Co-host. I need your help. I need you to be ready to catch these pieces, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. right, take that piece out. Good. What is this piece for? What holds the mattress? Okay, put it right there on the floor. All right, All right get the next piece. put the instructions. Go ahead, take that piece out. There are no instructions. Huh? I thought that there were instructions that aren't. Alright, take this piece. That's it? Yeah. What does this piece do? It holds the mattress. scissors.
cards. brain doesn't work like at all like there's jello in here pure jello watch my YouTube video and figure this out. Okay, so about an hour, maybe two hours have passed. I think an hour wasn't that bad. It's done. I tried recording, I really did, but again, I didn't get my tripod and I needed to watch the video as I put it together. It was not hard to put together at all. Super duper easy. Um, I am considering, can you, I don't know if you can see it, taking off, oh, you can't see anything, the wheels. Can you see that there, you can't even see there are wheels. Oh my God, I'm like struggling right now. There are wheels, I don't know if you can see it. Whatever. Let me try this angle. And it stopped recording, whatever. Yo, guys, what the heck is happening to my skin? This is from my bonnet that I sleep with. I'm getting like this um, dry skin scar thing here, getting it on this side and then look here. I don't know, my skin is going crazy. Whatever, I put it together. That's what I'm trying to say. I put it together. I'm tired. Um, sorry that I'm not recording this better. I'm just at a state where I don't want to be around people. I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to take pictures of myself. I just don't, I don't want to be recognized. I don't want to be spoken to. I don't, I just want to be left alone. That's, that's where I'm at. 25 weeks pregnant and I want to be left alone and that is nearly impossible when you're a teacher and you work with um, a bunch of students and a bunch of teachers and you know it's impossible but um I've been attending church uh, more online lately uh, not 100% because I want to but it's like every day that I make a decision to go, something comes up. And like today, I woke up early, like got dressed. And I wore this yesterday because I haven't done laundry and none of my clothes are clean. So two days in a row, whatever. But I was dressed, got my son ready. And I'm telling my daughter, this is like at 8, 10 in the morning. I'm like, okay, you we take your shower, your bath last night, just wear a shirt wear pants i haven't done your laundry just wear whatever oh but i don't like wearing jeans and that's all i have so we're looking 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 we find some leggings look you love wearing leggings wear your leggings i'm gonna go take a shower by the time i come out please be dressed so i come out of my shower and the child is still not dressed not dressed i tell her to um prepare her nebulizer to take a treatment before we leave and that's taking her forever. And at this point, my son and I are already eating breakfast. It is like 8.50, 8.55. And I want to leave my house like 9 o'clock, 9.10, the latest. Because my church does not have parking. 
And so if you get there early enough, you can park like on the main road, Kennedy Boulevard, and be close enough to the church. Like I went once and I got there too late, had to park in the shopping plaza across the way. And when I tell you I was out of breath walking from that shopping plaza to my church, it just can't happen. You know, it just can't happen. So I want to get to church at a certain time. So we're eating and still my daughter's not ready. And with my daughter, because, you know, she deals with asthma, um, there's a lot of like little medicines and things that she has to do before she can get on her day. And so now it's taking forever for her to do her nebulizer, taking forever for her to do her Advair, taking forever for her to take her Zyrtec taking forever for her to drink her milk with elderberry uh, syrup in it, um, taking forever for her to brush her teeth, taking forever for her to brush her hair. And now the clock is ticking and I'm like, forget it. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to go with Jack. That's it. You're going to stay with daddy. I'm not waiting for you. And so now I'm like, okay, Jack, let's go get you ready. Brush your teeth. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. And he's walking up the steps and I'm like, what the heck is on your pants? Well, because my son is, you know, all over the place and he has ants in his pants all the time. He's eating a chocolate chip muffin and because he's all jumpy and antsy, he, apparently chocolate chips fell on the seat or his pants and he sat on them. So it, it looked like he had like poop stains on his pants clean pants that I just put on him. So now I have to get him to undress and redress. And for anyone who has an autistic child, my God, okay? We're just gonna say that, my God in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It, it just, we couldn't get it done, we couldn't get it done. So now at this point, it's already like 9, 11-ish. And I'm like, to get these kids in the car to drive to church i'm gonna get there right at like 9 25 there might not be parking in the front my anxiety is kicking in i just i literally lock myself in the bathroom i start crying crying because i'm so frustrated and i said just whatever we're not going we're not going just leave me alone and so we didn't go and like every week it's something every week is something so it is what it is but we got the crib done. Um, my office is now right there. So I went from desk, filing cabinets and whatnot to that is where my computer is going to go. My printer is there. We've got our filing system opposite of the computer. Um, all those things will be there. It, it's going to work. It'll be a standing office. It is what it is. All of these other things I have got to... Um, work on putting them away organizing all my books down here my curtains are going to be coming in and i i have a sheer curtain that i was going to put in an extra panel from my bedroom because this room is so small that one like 100 inch panel would be more than enough however it is white and it is partially sheer and you see how uneven my wall is like the window is not in the center of the wall. And if you know me, that drives me nuts. So if I put a sheer curtain, the light is going to shine into the room uneven. I cannot have uneven lighting. Nope. So we got some pinch pleat curtains that are blackout curtains that will be coming in, um, I think tomorrow, tomorrow or Tuesday. And so what's gonna end up happening is like I did when I had my office, the shears will get ruched up in the center. The blackout curtains will be on opposite ends. And then I will um, measure out the opening so that a sliver of light is coming through the window, an even centered sliver of light. Y'all might think I'm crazy. I do not care. I need things to be centered. It just brings peace to my life. So, um, so we got to get the curtain. I'm still looking for a dresser. I'm looking for a white dresser, something small. I, I needed to wait until I put the crib in to make sure I had enough spacing or 
to tell me what kind of spacing I had to see how big of a dresser I could get. Also, this room is tight. I mean, look at me, I'm sitting in a chair and it's just, it's a tight, tight room. I'm granted the bassinet's not gonna be here. It's gonna be in my bedroom. So I have to figure out um, like an alternative for like some type of little seating area. You know, when I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm feeding the baby, you know, do I want to walk back to my bedroom or do I want to just stay here and sit on the little, you know, rocking chair, whatever fits in here, but it's got to be small. So oh, that's what we're planning. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be it for this video right now. I will be doing um, more of a legit nursery reveal, but I just have so much footage on my phone that I haven't... Um, haven't edited, haven't done, I haven't done anything. Just like I said, I am in a leave me alone, don't talk to me, don't look at me, don't recognize me, I do not exist to you or to anybody else type of mood. Um, you know, I'm trying my best to snap out of it. It's just, I'm a little frustrated. I'm in a frustrated state. I'm uncomfortable all the time. Um, it's hard to sleep for those of you that have been pregnant. It's just like, Every time I want to like twist into a new position, I literally have to completely get out of bed. I can't just like flip over, get out of bed, reposition the pillow and then go into that new position, sleep for like an hour, get up, pee, reposition. It's a whole, a whole production. It's a Broadway musical production. Um, you know, I thought it was difficult being pregnant with Jack. And having Kennedy be, you know, a 10-month-old, an 11-month-old. She was a baby. She was 10 months old when I got pregnant with Jack. You know, I thought that was tough. Um, that they were both babies. Now, it's like I'm dealing with the pregnancy and dealing with a 6- and a 7-year-old that are fighting more now. Um, need help with homework. And they they're like fighting for my attention and like I told you before just getting ready is a whole process and I feel like this is harder I feel like this is much harder it is hard to have two under two three under three four under four like I know a lady she had four under four um it's hard it really is but this is a different level of hard um that I've never experienced and it's difficult and then having to be a full-time um, working mom, it's hard. It's hard. So, And then to add fuel to fire, I know I'm rambling a lot, but whatever. I need to talk to somebody. Um, to add fuel to fire, I know I'm big, guys. I know. I know. I know I'm big. I know... Look at that belly, okay? I know for most people, a belly like this is like you're ready to pop anytime soon. And I am in no way, shape, or form ready to pop. I literally have um, all of November, all of December, and half of January. I still have two and a half months left of um, pregnancy. I'm only six months right now. And... To constantly be asked, you are you sure it's only one? Are you sure? Oh my girl, you big. Oh my god. Whoa. Ha. Ah, yeah. Ha. Ah, ha. Ah, 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 ah. I'm like, can can we just stop? Can we stop like digging in? Like, I know that people, and it's mostly at work because I'm not really interacting with anybody else. I have legit. Le le I can't even speak. I have literally um, just retreated from society. Like, I just don't want to go out. I don't. So the only place that I'm really going to right now is school, my job. And to constantly, um, you know, I have to walk down the halls and, you know, be polite and professional. Hey, good morning. Hey, how are you? Happy Monday. Have a great day. You know, and, and, to, and to put on that facade um that professional facade for the day is tough and then to put the the facade of 
Oh my God, I know I'm big. I know. Oh, I know it's only one. Isn't that crazy? I know. I know I'm huge. I get it. That is just so damaging on so many levels. So if you're someone that does that to people, please stop. <laughs> please stop reminding um, women of how big they are, how big they're getting. When women are pregnant, they get big. Period. Leave it alone. And so it's just that's very annoying to me. I um, also, I don't like feeling like I have to depend on people to do things. And lately I've had to because there's just certain things I can't do. Um, but there are things that I still can do. And like, I don't know, this teacher means well. She's like the sweetest soul on the planet. Um, we were doing testing and I had hall duty. And so she was like, I'm going to get your chair. I was like, oh, yeah, no, no worries. I mean, I'm going to get the chair. I'm just waiting for the students to come in to ensure that there are enough seats for the students in the testing rooms so that then I can take a chair. Like, you know, I don't know which room is open right now because I don't have a list. So she wasn't having it. She had to find me a chair. I was like, oh, OK, no problem. So then another teacher finds me a chair with wheels, a rolling chair. Yeah, sure. No problem. Oh, no, no, no. You can't sit there. You can't sit there. That's dangerous. What if you fall? I mean, like, like this beautiful soul of a teacher. I mean, she's she's having a cow. She does not want me to sit on a chair with wheels. And I'm like, it's OK. Like, don't worry. I'm going to be fine. Thank you so much for caring. And, you know, I had to like she kept insisting and I just kept politely saying, no, I got you. Don't worry. I'm going to be OK. I promise. I promise. I'm going to be OK. You know, and so that's sweet, but like, I don't, I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need someone to like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you, you want to carry that for you? That's like, like if I need the help, like I'm literally not opposed to going up and asking for help. Like if I need help, I will ask for it. Hey, I can't do this. Can you come and, and hook me up? Um, but it's just, you know, that feeling of just... People making you feel like you're helpless, um, having to constantly have that facade of happiness and that facade of, you know, everything is great. It's exhausting. <laughs> it is exhausting. So, but yeah, um, got the crib put together today. So praise be to the Lord. I have no laundry right now so let me go downstairs and at least make sure that i have underwear and a pair of pants washed for tomorrow because i gotta go to work tomorrow and um and that's it so i will try my best to get back to posting regularly and you know bringing you on this journey but um i just i'm of the mind frame like <sighs> if i have nothing positive and inspiring to share then I'm not going to share because I don't want to be a negative Nancy, a Debbie Downer on my channel. And so the last few weeks I have been really down. And so I haven't been posting because I just I don't want to put so much negativity out in the world. It's already enough negativity out in the world. I don't want to contribute to that. So it is what it is. I will see you guys next time. And I promise you, I will give you a more formal um, nursery tour uh, and reveal once it is finished. Peace out. Mm -hmm.